Okay guys, so welcome to our second topic. And for this topic, we will introduce or we will review again enzymes, okay? So if you remember, we extensively discussed this already in your biochemistry, would, but repetition would of course increase your knowledge and it would remind you as well um, the concepts and the importance of enzymes in clinical diagnostics, particularly under clinical chemistry section okay so again enzymes what are uh what are their function in humans or even in living organisms they act as okay biological catalyst okay so the use of enzymes in diagnosis of disease is one of the important benefits derived from the intensive research in biochemistry why because increased level of enzymes would mean there is a possible cell damage, okay? So, increase in level means uh, there is a cell damage. Like, for example, in acute myocardial infarction or in heart attack. So, we have enzymes that are increased in this condition. So, we have decal, creatine kinase, creatine kinase, the ASP, and the LDH, as well as in hepatitis. So, there are the liver enzymes that, in, that, that are increased if there are damage to hepatocytes, so these enzymes are the AST and ALT. But um, in bone, okay, so uh, damage of cells in the bone would increase the level of the ALT. But there are many other enzymes that, um, that are increased in those conditions. But there are enzymes that are more specific, okay? that they would show a greater rise or increase in the plasma level during the uh, damage of a cell. So enzymes have provided the basis for the field of clinical chemistry. That's why um, we have the liver function test that is offered in the clinical chemistry section. Okay, so it would assess the level of ASP, ELT, GGT, and others. It is, however, only within the recent past few decades that interest in diagnostic enzymology has multiplied because, of course, um, the advancement of research. Okay? So, key points. Enzymes are protein catalysts. Again, all enzymes are proteins except for the ribozymes, okay? Which are needed um, for the RNA. Okay? So, uh, enzymes are protein catalysts utilized by essentially all mammalian cells in specific biochemical reaction, not only by mammalian cells, but all of the living organisms. That's why even for the tiny, okay, milk bacteria that are not seen by the aided, unaided eye, okay, so unseen by the naked eye, they also utilize um, catalyst enzymes for their metabolism. Okay, so enzymes have trivial names excuse me, and has a standardized nomenclature by the Inter uh, International Union of Biochemistry. So, they have the common name and the systematic name, okay, for these enzymes. An understanding of enzyme kinetics allows for laboratory measurement of serum, okay? So, damage or dying cells within organs can release enzymes into the circulation as long as that enzyme is present in that tissue or in that organ. Like, for example, in, in liver, since that is rich in the, the ALT and AST, a damage of um, hepatocytes would result to the release of the enzymes that are present inside the cell of hepatocytes. And those enzymes will then go to the circulation that, uh, which, um, which is reflected by their increased value um, when that, that blood is tested in the clinical chemistry section. Okay? So, in addition, uh, many enzymes have isoenzymes. And what do you mean by isoenzymes? Okay? So, isoenzymes. Okay, so isoenzymes or isozymes, pwede din naman, these are polypeptide chains that differ in sequence but have similar enzymatic activity. 
Okay, like for example, so uh, CK. So creatine kinase has three forms or three isozymes. So we have the CKMB, CKMB, the CKBB, okay, and the CKMM. Okay, so that is for CK in the muscle, okay, CK in the brain. Even this one, this is also in muscle. This is in the heart, the CKMB heart, brain, muscle. Okay, even for LDH, it has six isoenzyme. That is LDH1, 2, 6. LDH1, LDH2, until 6. Okay, so that is for isozymes. So they are polypeptide chains that differ in sequence but have similar enzymatic activity. Okay, so let me just check if it is recording. So it is enzymes and life processes. The living cell is the site of tremendous biochemical activity called the metabolism. Okay, so this is the process of chemical and physical change which goes on continually in the living organism to support its life. Okay, and the phenomenon of catalysis makes possible biochemical reactions necessary for all life processes because of course without these enzymes which increases the rate of chemical reaction okay so um everything is possible the chemical reaction so the time that it would use for a substrate to become the product is of course shorter okay because these enzymes they lower the activation energy therefore mas madali ang pagko-convert ng isang substrate para maging isang product okay so important so enzymes play an important role in of course metabolism that is inside uh, the living organism and diagnosis so checking if the body is um, functioning well, like there are no diseases, there are no um, disturbance on the normal functioning or the normal metabolism of the body, as well as in therapeutics, in assessment, if uh, a therapeutic regimen is actually working on the body. Okay, so all biochemical reactions are enzymes uh, catalyzed in the living organism which means all of the chemical reactions that happens inside the body of a living organism these are catalyzed by enzymes okay so lahat ng chemical reaction kailangan ng enzymes so the level of enzyme in blood are of diagnostic importance so it is a good indicator in disease such as myocardial infarction and again what are the three enzymes that are increased during or when there is acute myocardial infarction. And yung mga enzyme we have the CK, the AST, and the LDH. You please remember that um, in that order as well, so the CAL, okay? So the CK, the AST, and the lactate dehydrogenase or the LDH because that is also the order of their increase in the serum. Unang dadami or unang tataas ang CK and then followed by the AST and lastly by the LDH. So later on, we will discuss kung bakit ganun, bakit hindi sabay-sabay. Okay, so it was well explained by Henry kung bakit merong nauuna at may nahukulit. Enzyme can be used therapeutically such as the digestive enzymes. Okay, so we proceed with... Slide number seven. So what are enzymes? They are biological catalysts. They are proteins. Okay, so they are measured by their activity. That's why we take advantage of this concept. Okay, so we take advantage of this one because we can check their level in our serum or in our plasma by measuring their catalytic activity. So they are normally confined within cells unless increased membrane permeability allows them to enter the blood. Okay? But it doesn't mean that you don't have or that we don't have enzymes in our circulation. That's why we have reference ranges. Okay? Na 
uh, within that limit normal yan. Okay? For example, I will just give a numerical value as an example. For example, for EST, but this is not, take note, this is not the reference range for EST. For example, that is the reference range is 5 to 65. Okay? 565 milligram per DL. So, normally, meron talagang um, AST within the circulation that is outside the cell. Okay? They are in the fluid part of the circulation or fluid part of the body. Okay? Pero limited lang yun. Mas maraming enzymes yung nasa loob ng cell. That's why if the result of the test for AST is increased, like for example, 65 na yung upper limit ng reference range, okay? Umabot yan ng 200, 300, or even 100. It means there is something wrong in the body, okay? Merong nangyaring uh, lysis of cell. That's why the AST in the serum level is not in normal range. Mataas kasi lumabas sila from a cell that was damaged, okay? Possible na merong may disease or merong cause, okay, like drugs or alcohol, okay, so they are not altered or consumed, okay, so nare-recycle ang mga catalysts, they are reusable, okay, so enzyme has specificity, okay, so they have specificity, like, um, they catalyze a chemical reaction, a certain chemical reaction, hindi pwede na si transferase, okay, Mag, um, magkakatalize siya ng oxidation reduction. Okay? So, if that is a transferase, definitely it will catalyze a transfer of a substrate. Okay? So, general properties of enzyme. So, all enzymes are proteins and functions as catalysts. Okay, so the molecule for which a particular enzyme catalyzes a reaction is called a substrate. Kung baga, yan yung reactant. Iba in the laboratory, we have the reactant, we have the product. So, the molecule that will be acted upon by the enzyme is called the substrate. Okay, so enzymes don't interact with other molecules aside from their substrate. This is what we are referring to as the enzyme specificity they are specific for the substrate that they will catalyze its chemical reaction okay so ganun sila specific may specificity sila ba so kung ga, ganun lang din sana sa tao specific para sa isa di wala sa nang problema char okay so all enzymes again they are proteins so they accelerate the rate of chemical reaction in the body without being chemically altered. Okay? So, hindi sila nag-change. Okay? So, hindi sila nasisira. Virtually, every reaction that occurs in our body, both inside the cell and outside, intracellularly or extracellularly, is catalyzed by enzymes. Okay? So again, so many enzymes exist predominantly in specific tissues and not in other tissues. That's why we can use these enzymes to determine the site of cell damage, okay? So, but it is not specific, guys, okay? It's not extremely specific, okay? What do I mean by that? Hindi dahil mataas yung EST mo or ALT mo, ang damage agad is yung liver. Hindi ganon, Okay? Period that is already one of the um, possible option that the doctor would think of. Okay, mataas ang EST or ALT, baka pwedeng si liver. Okay, so paano pag si EST lang pwedeng si liver ang may damage? Pwede din naman si heart. Okay, so certain enzymes can serve as biomarkers for disease in specific tissue. Therefore, a vital focus of the medical laboratory is determination of the concentration. So, this is our function in um, in a hospital, okay, in the clinical laboratory, clinical chemistry section. So, 
A vital focus of the medical laboratory is determination of the concentrations and or activities of specific enzymes in, in the blood and other body fluids. Okay, so the fact that an enzyme interacts selectively with only specific substrate facilitates determination of enzyme concentration simply by adding a specific substrate to serum or other body fluid and observing the rate at which the substrate disappears. What does it mean? So, we'll change our scene into the... O, oh, diba? Marunong na ako ng konti. Okay? Into the paint. For me to illustrate this. For example, okay? So, let's analyze this one. So, the fact that an enzyme interacts selectively with only specific substrate facilitates the determination of enzyme concentration. Okay? So, for example, we have here. So, we'll just use this. Okay? So, for example, we have here the enzyme. Okay? So, we have the enzyme which catalyzes a specific chemical reaction. So, you have the enzyme in the body. Okay? So, you have your enzyme in your body especially in the serum, okay? And what we use, guys, mostly in clinical laboratory, we use the serum as sample to measure the enzymes, okay? So, the increase in enzymes. So, going back to the serum, since it has enzyme, what will you do to measure its activity, okay? You will add the substrate, Okay? So, you will add the substrate and then you will measure the activity of enzyme. Okay? So, normally, meron ng enzyme yung serum. Okay? Ibig sabihin, imemeasure mo, okay, kung madami, okay, kung madami ang enzyme sa serum mo, like for example, yun nga, lumagpas ka ng 100, eh hanggang 100 lang yung limit niya. Sobrang dami mong enzyme. Okay? Therefore, a machine will also provide many substrate. Okay? So, pwedeng magbigay siya din ng, for example, 1,000. 1,000 na substrate for every test. Okay? Ilan yung nag-react dun sa enzyme? Okay? So, in normal individual, for example, ang reference range natin is 30 to 100. Okay? In normal individual, ang na-convert lang niya na substrate is 70. So, the machine can measure the substrate that is left in the chemical reaction. Okay? So, dun niya madedetermine yung value. How about if you have a lot of enzymes? Okay? And you have 1,000 substrate. Okay? Defined na yan. For example, that is defined. So, you have 1,000 substrate and you have 300 enzymes. So, the 300 enzymes will act on 300 substrate. Okay? And it will measure uh, how much substrate is left. Okay? To determine the value or, yes, the value of enzymes or how high the level of enzyme is in the serum. Okay? So, again, in the laboratory, they measure the enzymatic activity by using or by adding substrate. Okay? So, balik na tayo sa PowerPoint presentation natin. Okay, so definitions of terms. So, um, the definitions of these terms are can are found in Bishop. So, please lang, you help me also. Basahin nyo na. And I already discussed this in your biochemistry. Okay? So, please check the definitions of these terms. Because um, we have to discuss 50 slides. And nasa pang 10 pa lang ako. Okay, so catalysis. Catalyst increases the rate of chemical reaction by how do how do they increase the rate of chemical reaction? Okay, by decreasing the activation energy needed for that chemical reaction to take place. Okay, pinapababa nila yung activation energy para mas mabilis mangyari yung chemical reaction. So, the acceleration may occur in solution just like in our blood and the process that is called homogeneous catalysis if that is within, if the reaction of the enzyme occurs in solution. 
Catalysis on an insoluble surface is termed as heterogeneous catalysis. Like, for example, um, the catalysis occurs on the membrane structure of a cell. So that is heterogeneous. Next slide, activation energy. Okay, so all chemical reactions require some amount of energy to get them started. And we term, we refer, um, that term or this meaning refers to the activation energy. And all of the chemical reaction that uh, we have in our body needs an activation energy to get them started. Okay, para magsimula sila and to convert the substrate to become the product of chemical reaction. Okay, so I hope guys, nakakasunod pa tayo. Um, you have a function in YouTube wherein you can slow down this, the play speed of a video. Okay, so mayroon namang ganun. So we have here an illustration um, that would help you understand uh, the concept of lowering the activation energy. So we have here, I use this illustration also in your biochemistry. So I believe it is easier for you to understand now because it's not the first time that you encounter the concept. Okay, so we have here the um, image A. So this is the activation energy. Okay, so a man's pushing a ball. So parang a man that is the... Um, what do you call this one? Uh, so, wait lang. Naglilag ng utak ko. Okay, so, this mine, this is the enzyme. Okay? So, this is the enzyme that would catalyze the... Um, I know, this is not the enzyme. Okay? So, this one is the substrate. Okay? So, this one is the substrate and this is the activation energy that is needed to convert the substrate to become the uh, to become the product. So, without the presence of an, an enzyme, the activation energy okay, is so high. Sobrang mataas yung activation energy. Okay? But with the enzyme, the activation energy is much lower. Okay? It is much lower. So, with the presence of enzyme, therefore, the rate of chemical reaction with the use of enzyme, okay, is faster. Kasi, kumbaga, pinapababa niya yung activation energy. Okay? So, mechanism of action of enzymes. Enzymes increase rate of chemical, uh, en enzymes increase reaction rates by decreasing the activation energy. Okay, so going back here with the enzyme, okay, the activation energy needed is much lower. Kaya mas mobilis yung chemical reaction. Unlike here, uncatalyzed enzyme, uh, uncatalyzed reaction, no enzyme, the activation energy that is needed is so high. Again, so the enzyme lowers the activation energy to increase the rate of chemical reaction. Okay, so we have here enzyme catalyzed reaction. When a substrate fits properly in an active site, an enzyme substrate complex is formed. Okay, so we have an example here. So if the substrate, we have the substrate here, fits properly, okay, to the active site, then we have the enzyme substrate. So this is the enzyme substrate complex. Okay, so within the active site of the enzyme substrate complex, the reaction occurs to convert substrate into the product. So we have here the enzyme substrate complex. So the enzyme will catalyze the chemical reaction and it will change, okay, it will help, okay, the chemical reaction to happen and the substrate will then be converted to become the product. So the end, uh, the end of this part, for step 2, you have the enzyme product complex. Okay, so iba na siya. Okay, so these are your, this is the substrate, iba yung kulay, and then naging product na siya. Okay, so the overall reaction for the conversion of substrate to product can be written as follows. You have the, um, this one. Okay, so enzyme plus substrate will form enzyme substrate complex, and then, it will release the product, 
Okay, kapag na-change na niya, nakatalize na niya yung chemical reaction, then it will become the product. So, you have there the enzyme which is again ready to be used by other substrate because it is reusable. Okay? So, mechanism of action of enzyme, enzyme-substrate interaction. So, that is the lock and key model and in the interest fit. So, uh, we will go to them directly and differentiate the lock and key and the interest fit model. So, in the lock and key model, okay, so for the lock and key model, the active site has a rigid shape, okay? So, it has a permanent shape already, okay? It does not adjust, okay? So, the lock and key model of substrate binding to the uh to the enzyme active complex. The enzymes exhibits preformed steric and electronic complementarity to the shape and charge distribution of the substrate. Though shape changes occurs, okay? Therefore, the shape of the substrate matches the shape of the active site. That's why they can form an enzyme and substrate complex. Okay, in the lock and key again, the active site is rigid. It does not change in shape. Okay, so only with the matching shape can fit. Kung bilog yan, it will definitely not fit on the active site. Okay, if we are under, if we are under, um, or if that is the lock and key model. So the substrate is the key that fits the lock of the active site. That's why it is termed as lock and key model because their um, their shape matches. And if their shape matches, okay, um, what will happen? The chemical reaction will occur to produce the product. On the other hand, in the induced fit model, it's different. The active site, okay, the active site is flexible. It is not rigid. It does not have a permanent shape. Okay, so ano kayo? Are you flexible or rigid? So, the shapes of enzymes, the shape of the enzyme, the active site, and substrate adjust to the maximum, the fit which improve catalysis. So, even if their shape does not match, okay, the active site will adjust for them to, uh, for them to fit together and will have uh, will continue with the chemical reaction and then they will produce the product. Okay, that's why the induced fit model, it is more flexible. Okay, so the induced fit model, um, this is actually more consistent with a wider range of enzymes. Okay, so... Each enzyme contains the active site, okay? So, the active site, that is a site where the substrate will bind, okay? So, enzymes are usually very large proteins and the active site is just a small region of the enzyme molecule. So, that is water free cavity. On the other hand, there is another site that is the allosteric site, the cavity other than the active site, which may bind regulator molecule just like the cofactors. Okay, so the active site has two parts, the catalytic site and the binding site. So the catalytic site, that is where the substrate attaches. Okay, so it is the portion of the enzyme that is responsible for the catalysis. It determines since, it's, since it is responsible for the catalysis or the chemical reaction, it determines the reaction specificity. On the other hand, the binding site, okay, so the binding site, um, mali ako nang sinabi kanina, okay, so if you notice, so the binding site, that is actually the site where the substrate binds, okay, that's why it determines the substrate specificity, okay. So, we have here the active site. That is the active site. So, you have here the enzyme, the substrate. Okay. And then, you have the enzyme substrate complex, enzymes product, enzyme product complex, and the product has been released. 
So, the enzyme is again ready to catalyze a chemical reaction. So, the upper enzyme and the hollow enzyme, uh, the definition is here. Okay, and the definition is also present in clinical chemistry by Bishop. So, please read them. Okay, tulungan nyo na lang din ako because nakakaubos ng boses. So, we proceed with the enzyme kinetics. So, the activation energy, so we're done with that. Okay, so also with this concept. So enzyme specificity. Okay, so there are different types. The absolute, absolute, sa isa lang siya. Okay, um, it will only catalyze uh, a single chemical reaction. Okay, kumbaga it, it has absolute specificity. Pang isa lang siya na chemical reaction. Okay, for group that is specific to all substrate of a chemical group and for a bond of course it will catalyze a specific type of bond and for stereoisometric specificity that is specific to one optical isomer of a compound so if you remember we have the different um optical isomer the laboratory and dextrorotatory we have the cis and trans isomer if you remember them in our organic chemistry do you guys do you remember them kayo you define your specificity. Are you absolute, group, bond, or stereoisometric, guys? Saan kayo dyan magpupo? Okay, slide 37 na tayo. So, I already discussed this. Okay, absolute sa isa lang, group. Okay, linkage is also same with bond specificity and stereochemical specificity. So, um, that is specific for isomers. Factors affecting enzyme activity. So, slide 28, we have enzyme concentration. So, we will go over them and we will explain um, how this, how do they affect enzyme activity. Okay? So, number one, enzyme concentration. Okay? So, for enzyme concentration, the higher, okay, H, higher the enzyme concentration, the faster is the chemical reaction. So, we go back to SIN2. Okay. So, SIN2 is the paint. So, I have it here. Okay, nag-drawing na ako, guys. So, we have here the substrate. We have here the enzyme. So, we compare. Kasi what we are comparing here is the enzyme concentration. So, for example, we have here 20 substrate. We have 10, okay? Just to give you a numerical value para mas madali nyo intindihin. And we have here 30 enzymes, okay? So, ang ibig sabihin ng sinasabi kanina, the more enzymes that is present, the faster the rate of the chemical reaction. So, eto, mas maraming enzyme. Therefore, in this part, it will have the catalyzed or the reaction will go faster because there are more okay, enzymes which will uh, react to each substrate. Okay? So, meron kang 30, meron kang 20 na substrate. Siyempre, the 30 enzymes can accommodate this, all of these substrate. Unlike here, you, you only have 10 enzymes. Okay? Only 10 substrate will then be catalyzed at the same time. Okay? Hindi ka gaya dito, you will, all, you will also have an excess of 10 enzymes which can catalyze the rate of chemical reaction. Okay? Even if this is smaller, for example, we have 5 enzymes here and we have 15 enzymes here. Okay? And you have 20 substrates here. Still, the rate of chemical reaction this way is faster. Okay? Kasi 15 enzymes agad ang available for this 20 substrate. So, if um, it is done at the same time, okay, so 15 agad yung product na marirelease. Unlike here, you will only produce 5 product, okay, and you still have 15 substrate to catalyze. Unlike here, you only have, um, you only have 5 substrate na to catalyze. Okay, so that is the meaning for the, the higher enzyme concentration, the faster is the chemical reaction. So, I hope guys na naintindihan nyo. Okay, sobrang bilis nga lang. Pero, hopefully naman naintindihan nyo yun. Okay? Number two, substrate concentration. With the exceeding amount of the substrate, the reaction rate steadily 
Okay, so I forgot to change into sin 1. Okay, so substrate concentration with the exceeding amount of the substrate, the reaction rate steadily increases as more substrate is added. Okay, going back to sin 2. Oops, hindi na niya kaya. Okay, hindi na kaya ng power ng control Z. Okay? So, ulitin natin. With the exceeding amount of the substrate, mas madaming substrate, the reaction rate steadily increases as more substrate is added. Okay? So, if we have um, substrate, in case this is the enzyme, we have 15 enzyme, we have here... Uh, 30 substrate. Okay? So, we have here, for example, 10 substrate. Okay? So, you have 15 enzymes. Baliktad nga lang siya. Okay? Hindi kagaya kanina enzymes so madami. Still, um, same yung reaction. Okay? But, iba lang kasi yung um, de-define natin dito, the substrate. So, if you have 15 enzymes, Okay, situation A, situation D, you, we have 30 substrate. Okay, so this is constant na. We have 15 enzyme. And then we have 10 substrate here at case A and then case B. We have 10, we will just use this, 10 and 30. Okay, so sino dyan na magpo-produce ng product na mas marami? Is it case A? Or case B. Of course, the case B because you have more substrate. Okay? Unlike in A, for example, in the same time, okay, the 15 enzymes will accommodate the 10 substrate and then so, you will have 10 products. Okay? But at the same time, on the set B or the case B, 15 enzymes can accommodate 15 substrates here. So, magpo-produce kagad ng 15 products. Okay? So, mas mabilis yung rate of chemical reaction. So, next step, uulit na naman siya. Okay? So, yung 15 na nagamit na enzyme, mauulit siya para i-convert to. So, the second time, okay, na i-convert na niya or it will catalyze the um, substrate that is left. So, meron kang naiwang 15. Okay? Ito kasi wala na eh. Okay? Ito, um, wala ka nang uh, substrate. Okay? But for example, uh, 20. Okay? So, 20 yung substrate mo dito. Dapat kasi mas konti. Wait lang. 40. Let's use 40 and let's use 30. Okay? So, let's use 30. So, you have 30 substrate. Okay? You have 30 substrate and then you have 40 substrate which is acted upon by 15 enzymes. Okay? So, here, 15 agad. Wait lang. Nalilito na ako. Okay, I'm sorry guys. Ako din medyo nalito na. But it's the same pala even if we use the 10 and the 20. Okay? So, even if we use the 10 and the 20, actually, um, it would show us the the concept about increasing the substrate concentration. Okay? So, actually, that is a lot better. So, in case, we'll use 10. And ano na kanina yung example natin dito? 30. Okay? So, para kulang. So, here, going back, I am so sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. Okay? Nakakalito na rin kasi. Okay? So, kung nalilito ako, how much more sa inyo, ba? But I hope, guys, that ulit-ulitin nyo na lang itong panoorin. Okay? Para mas maintindihan nyo siya. So, we have 15 enzymes. On case B, we have 30 substrate. Okay? So, the first time that the all of these enzymes will interact with this, okay? So, that will catalyze or would result to 15 products. Okay? So, unlike here, you only have 10 substrate. So, you will only have 10 products. Okay? So, let's add. Okay? Kasi sabi niya, as you increase the substrate concentration. So, ilan na lang naiwan dito? 15 yung naiwan. 
Kasi na-convert na yung 15 dito, 0 na yung naiwan. Okay? So, let's add more. Okay? So, let's add more. Let's add 10 to each case. So, eto, magiging 10 na ulit. Okay? Meron ka ulit 10. Kasi hindi na siya 0. Kasi meron kang naidagdag na 10. Dito naman, mag a ka ng 10. So, meron ka na ditong 25 na substrate. Okay? Dating 30, na-convert yung 15 into product because of the presence of 15 enzymes. Okay? Nagdagdag tayo ng 10, kaya naging 25 siya ulit. So, ulit ulit. Okay? So, the 15 enzymes would act on the 25. Okay? So, that would produce again 15 products. So, at the same time, for example, using the same time frame, the 15 will act on the 10 substrate here. You will only produce 10. Okay? 10 product. So, for the same time frame that they have, okay, on this part, on this case, na meron kang mas maliit na substrate, it will only produce 20 product. Unlike here, you will produce 30 product for the same time frame. Okay? So, parehas lang yung gamit na oras. Pero, kapag mas marami yung substrate mo, mas marami kang ipoproduce na product. Therefore, mas mabilis yung rate of chemical reaction. Okay? Unlike here, mas konti yung na-produce mo, mas mabagal yung rate of chemical reaction. Kasi, kulang-kulang yung substrate mo. Mas maliit. Okay? So, I hope guys, I hope na naintindihan nyo yung concept na yun. Okay, let's go back to sin 1. <sighs> okay, cofactors. So, non-protein entities that must bind, okay, that must bind to particular enzymes before the reaction occurs. So, we have the coenzyme, the activator, and the metalloenzyme. So, without the coenzyme, still the reaction will not uh, push through. Okay? Walang mangyayaring chemical reaction without the coenzyme. That's why coenzyme affects the enzyme activity. Okay? So, um, case A, you have the coenzyme for the chemical reaction and case B, you don't have the coenzyme for the chemical reaction. Okay? So, anong mangyayari sa case B? There will be no chemical reaction because the coenzyme is not present. Okay, that's why the cofactors affect the enzyme activity. Even if you have the enzyme and you have the, sub, the substrate, without the coenzyme, walang mangyayaring enzyme activity because the coenzyme is necessary okay, for that chemical reaction. Inhibitors, from the name alone, inhibitors, what is their effect? Would they increase the rate of chemical reaction or would they decrease this? Okay, so they will decrease the rate of chemical reaction because they will inhibit the chemical reaction to happen. We have three types of inhibition, the competitive, the non-competitive, and uncompetitive. Medyo na-stress ako dun sa example ko kanina ng 1 and 2, especially the 2, the substrate concentration. Okay, so the competitive inhibitor, so it competes with the active site. Okay, so therefore guys, the presence of inhibitor has negative effect on the rate of chemical reaction. Therefore, papababain niya yung rate of chemical reaction, patatagalin. Okay, so for competitive inhibitor, the inhibitor will bind on the active site. Okay, so both the substrate compete for the same active site of the enzyme. So inhibition is reversible when the substrate concentration is significantly higher than the concentration of inhibitor. So, kung mas marami naman, okay, you have an inhibitor. Example na naman. Sorry na. Okay? So, we have here an inhibitor. I don't have space already. Wait lang. Okay, so, for example, we have the enzyme. Okay. And you have the 
inhibitor and you have the substrate okay so this inhibitor this is the inhibitor this is the substrate this is the enzyme so in competitive inhibition okay competitive ah, the um, inhibitor will compete with the substrate to the binding site. Therefore, kung nauna yung inhibitor kaysa kay substrate, ano mangyayari? Okay? Walang chemical reaction na mangyayari. Okay? Kapag si inhibitor ang nagbind sa active site. However, okay, to reverse this one, you should increase the number of substrate that would compete to the active site. Since mas marami na yung substrate mo that would compete to the active site, there is a higher chance that the substrate, that one of the substrate will bind to the active site. Okay? Kung baga competition. Okay? So, mas maraming substrate. So, mas malaki yung chance na sila yung magbind. So, in that case, magkakaroon na ng chemical reaction. Okay? Therefore, the competitive inhibition, it has a negative effect because it directly competes with the active site of the um, enzyme. Okay, 34, non-competitive inhibitor. It does not compete with the substrate at the active site but on the site other than the active site. Ano daw? So, nakikipag-compete siya hindi dun mismo sa active site, pero sa ibang site. Diba? Example of other site, the allosteric site. So, the substrate and inhibitor may bind and to the enzyme simultaneously. Okay? So, we go back to pink. Okay, so for example, okay, so we have here the enzyme. Wow, okay. So this is the active site and this is the allosteric site. Active and the allosteric site. So guys, in non-competitive inhibition, the inhibitor, for example, this is the inhibitor, okay, that is the inhibitor, and this is the substrate, okay, so, even if, okay, even if the substrate will bind to the active site, okay, the chemical reaction will not happen because the inhibitor will bind to the allosteric site. Okay? Instead na yung mga regulator molecule or cofactor yung magbind, hindi na kasi nakikipag-compete yung inhibitor. So, since the necessary regulator molecule is not the one that is attached to the allosteric site, ano mangyayari? Hindi rin magkakaroon ng chemical reaction. Okay? Nakukuha that is for non-competitive inhibition or non-competitive inhibitor. Okay, so because the inhibitor binds then, enzyme independently from substrate, increasing substrate concentration does not reverse the inhibition. So the presence of inhibitor when it is bound to the enzyme slows down the rate of chemical reaction. Okay, so pinapabagal niya yung rate ng chemical reaction. So, unlike guys, unlike in the competitive inhibition, increasing the substrate, okay, increasing the green will not result to increased um, chemical reaction. Okay, kasi even if you add so many substrate there, Okay? That is not the target of the inhibitor. Ang target naman niya is yung allosteric site. So, pakialam ba niya kung kahit bigyan mo siya ng 1 million na maglagay ka ng 1 million na substrate? Okay? Hindi naman yun yung target niya. ba? Okay. So, we go to the factors affecting enzyme activity. Activity still with inhibitor. 
the uncompetitive inhibitor. So the inhibitor binds to the enzyme substrate complex. So let me check. Okay, so the inhibitor binds to the enzyme substrate complex. Increasing the substrate concentration results in more end enzyme substrate complexes to which the inhibitor binds and thereby increase the inhibition. Therefore, guys, in an competitive inhibitor, go back to pink. Okay, so if you remember, we have the catalytic site, the binding site, and the allosteric site. So, for example, okay, we have there the substrate. Okay, so the substrate is already attached, okay, attached to the enzyme. So, we already have the enzyme substrate complex. Okay, so in uncompetitive inhibition, Okay, and competitive inhibition, the inhibitor will bind to the enzyme substrate complex. Okay? So, nakabind na nga, meron na ng substrate dun sa enzyme. Okay? Iti-change na lang niya into product. Hindi na naman mangyayari kasi meron na ulit na nakakabit na inhibitor. Okay? Nakukuha. So, we define again, so we differentiate, guys, in competitive inhibition, okay, the target of the inhibitor is the active site, okay? So, in non-competitive inhibition, the target of the inhibitor is the uh, site other than, site other, sulat na lang, site other than the active site. Bakit ACN? Active site. Okay? And in uncompetitive inhibition, the inhibitor targets the uh, enzyme substrate complex. Okay? So, I hope, guys, that those are clear to you, the differences among the three. Okay? So, increasing substrate concentration results to increase uh, increase inhibition. So, going back with uncompetitive inhibition, even if you add a lot of substrate, just like for the non-competitive inhibition, ano mangyayari? That would only result to increase inhibition. Kasi nag add ka lang naman ng substrate. Therefore, kung nag add ka ng nag add ng substrate, mas maraming mapoform na enzyme substrate complex. So, may i-inhibit pa rin yun ng inhibitor. Nakukuha? Okay, so we go back to scene 1. 